Well, hi there, girls and boys. Oh, hi, everybody. Elmo here. And Miss Booksy. Yeah, uh, Miss Booksy is here for a story time play day. Oh, <laughs> we're going to read a book. That's right. Elmo and I have been reading Jack and the Beanstalk. Yes. The first two chapters are on Cool School's YouTube channel, and now it's time for Chapter 3 here on Sesame Street. Are you excited, Elmo? Yes, Elmo's very excited. <laughs> Let's do a little recap. Okay. In Chapter 2, Jack climbed the beanstalk and found a giant red furry monster. Yeah, oh, but Jack thought that it was a scary monster, but it wasn't. Right, right, a really friendly furry monster. Yeah, oh, because monsters really are friendly and kind like Elmo. <laughs> very true. Mm -hmm. But Jack doesn't know that the giant is friendly. She just saw a giant and ran. Uh -huh. Split, vamoosed. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, she left her backpack up there. Uh -huh. Let's see if she goes up for it. Are you uh -huh. ready? Yes, Elmo is ready. <laughs> Are you ready? OK, let's read. <laughs> Jack didn't know what to do. She needed to go up the beanstalk and get her backpack, but there was a maybe very scary giant monster up there. But that couldn't be further from the truth. The giant was actually a really friendly monster. In fact, he was busy preparing a welcome party for Jack. He hoped she would come back and maybe they would become best friends. Look, Rover, giant Elmo made a welcome banner. Oh, and Elmo made a cake too. Now Giant Elmo and Rover will just have to wait until our friend comes back. <sighs> Is she here yet? Back on the ground, Jack had finally made her decision. I'm going up. Okay, you got this, Jack. You're brave. You're like the bravest. What are you just gonna leave your backpack and your favorite book up in the clouds just because some giant monster is up there? <laughs> That's silly. Jack had talked herself into feeling super brave. She was ready. She had just popped her head above the clouds when the giant saw her and yelled, Surprise! <laughs> Jack was so startled that she fell down and landed on the beanstalk branch below. Oh no, Rover, giant Elmo scared her again. Hello? <laughs> Jack scrambled down the beanstalk. Oh boy. Come on, Rover, let's go find her. Giant Elmo wants to tell her that giant Elmo just wants to be friends. This time, the giant decided to follow her. When Jack saw the giant was following her, she rushed to the bottom and hid. Fee, fi, fo, fo. No friend, where are you? The giant looked for Jack. He tried to be extra super careful not to step on anyone's house or anything. Sorry about that, sorry, so I'm sorry. Oh, Elmo, oh no, Elmo, sorry. But he was a giant, so he couldn't help but smoosh stuff up a little. Jack watched from her hiding spot as her neighbors ran and hid from the giant. Who let this monster down here? He smushed up my mailbox. That giant stepped on my fence. Finally, the giant gave up looking for Jack. Hi. Elmo guesses Elmo would just go home now. Giant Elmo doesn't want to bother anybody. Sorry. Bye, friend. Aw, he seemed kind of sad, right? And not super scary like you'd expect a giant monster to be. And did I hear him call me a friend? Here you go, friend. <gasps> so thoughtful. Okay, only a really kind giant monster would do that. Jack decided she needed to thank the giant for returning her backpack. But when she went over to the beanstalk, she found a crowd of townspeople had gathered there. There she is. You're the one who put this beanstalk here. I didn't mean to. What's wrong? What's wrong? A giant furry monster stomped around the town, smooshing everyone's stuff. That's what's wrong. Oh, yeah, that. He was trying to be careful, and I did hear him say he was sorry. Sorry, Shmari. It's too late for sorry. So we're gonna chop down the beanstalk. Wait, I just need to make one more trip up the beanstalk, please, okay? And then can we chop it down? Just wait for me to come back. You have until three o'clock. And then we're gonna chop it down. We'll chop the stock at three o'clock. Hey, that's catchy. Chop the stock at three o'clock. Okay, I got it. See ya. And with that, Jack started her climb back up the beanstalk. <laughs> Boy, I'm so happy that Jack is going back up the beanstalk. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Yeah. Do you think they'll become friends? Boy, I'm gonna hope so. Well, we better go read chapter four right now to find out. Yes. <laughs> Kids, click the link in the description below to come with us. Come on! Yeah, we have to find out what happened! We must find out! I need to know!